So, uh, a number of smaller items to talk about real quick. Uh, we stayed in Orangeville for the afternoon, had a bite to eat with Amy's parents, so that was nice. Um, got the final little bit of back to school shopping done for the kids. They needed some backpacks and pencil crayons and whatnot. Uh, and I got to take a look at the final little bits of the sales coming up. Now, granted, uh, the Ohio Select sale, the Lexington sale, Ontario's yearlings, those are very, very important. But along the way, we're going to have some other little minor regional sales. The Alini sale, the Illini sale. Alini. It does look like Alini, does it not? I mean, if you didn't know any better. What Ill is it called? How do you say it? Illini. No, doesn't seem. I don't like saying that. Well, that's what it is. The Illini sale. Uh, there's two horses in particular, and I've been talking to Jim um, back and forth. He's going to go over these horses. We haven't seen them yet. Jim's obviously been around horses forever. Uh, he's going to take a look at some yearlings and, uh, hi baby, two of the ones that I had picked out. I don't really want to go over who my top picks are, but there are two horses in particular that I thought they're, they're harbored some value and both had really nice videos and quite frankly had good pages also. So there's two horses in particular, really about a list of eight or 10, uh, that are potentials. But again, this, especially for this year, has to be based on value. I know a lot of our clients are saying, well, maybe get a pacer and a trotter, maybe get just two horses. We'll see. We'll see how things are. Because I got to be honest, um, Illinois in particular, I think that the horses are really expensive for what they're racing for. And I know that everybody's excited to get the casino finally moving again and built in, in uh, Illinois and get their staking pro program built up. And, and to be frank, they race for 12000 this Friday in the eliminations, 140 next week. I think there's another one after that too. I don't, I don't know what the what the purses are. I, I have them. I just don't have them in front of me. But I'm also well aware that of the over 900 clients that we have, uh, not many of you have been over enthusiastic about racing in Illinois. And uh, whether it be Delaware, Illinois, or, or anywhere, if we can find quality animals that fit the bill, that will do us some good. And let us get our foot, or in this case, keep our foot in the door. I think it's important that we explore that. So we do have, I did go through the wholesale with uh, with Jim. I have looked at a number of horses uh, that will be in the sale. And as I said, there are two in particular that have caught my eye. Uh, I talked to Jim about them. Jim didn't like the sire on one of them, but um, when it comes to this particular sale, I think you're going to have to give a little and take a little when it comes to uh, comes to the horses. I'm just looking at both February yearlings, so um, February falls. So um, with that, uh, you're going to see a lot more of these now. I am getting through this one when it comes to the Goshen sale. I only found maybe five that I liked. I'm not going to shop for New York horses there. Truthfully speaking, if we're going to go and buy New York bread, it will likely be a Chapter 7 or along that line again. Um, so very much similar in very different way than the Illinois sale. Um when it comes to the exposure, when it comes to the interest, the wants and needs, I guess, of the, the clients that we have, uh, New York is not on the top of the list. I, I would say uh, Ontario and Ohio and Pennsylvania always kind of fit the bill. And then you have people in New Jersey, Kentucky, you get New York in there. But when we're talking about New York, we're talking about potentially a pedigree that is a little higher than just racing regionally in New York. You guys have heard all these videos. Many of you have been our clients for quite a while. You know where we come from. Um, you know, last year, the year before, the year before that, Ohio, Ontario, and Pennsylvania are where we spend most of our, our attention and spend most of our money, quite frankly. Uh, New Jersey, Kentucky will have some interest this year, and we do buy some New York breads, and we will buy, likely, an Illinois bread. Um, so we do have the Illini sale. We have the Goshen sale. That's next Monday. This one, this one comes up on Monday afternoon. Now, I'll be in the Poconos racing Austral Hanover, but I have all the trust in the world in um, in Mr. Eaton. He's going to look at a bunch of horses for us, some that he picked out, some that he likes, some that I like. But of all the picks that him and I made, uh, I know he doesn't agree on one of them, but I have I have circled two horses. So that's what's going on Monday. The following Monday is Goshen. Again, going to be a light sale for us. In fact, looking at the catalog, the horses that I believe I like in the Goshen sale catalog, if they look like decent horses, which I'm sure they will, uh, they're going to attract a lot of attention. So I, I don't think we're going to get anything done in Goshen, but you never know. Um, 
and then after that where it's full speed ahead then it is the Ohio sale uh, which we're gonna be quite busy and then it's going to be the Lexington so the Lexington select which is going to be our biggest sale of the year bar none then we move into a couple of a, a couple of Ontario sales um, the the other Ohio regional sale the the Buckeye sale and then of course we'll round it out uh, I think there's one more Ontario sale we have win back and Sealster uh, in Ontario and then we'll round out the season with uh, Harrisburg and obviously we have the on gate online sale too we'll explore all the sales together all of us will but uh, um, for now I'm going to kick off the season lightly softly with the Illini sale on Monday so if you guys want to uh, be a part of that I had a lot of fun I had a lot of fun I wish Rosita's Dream was the best horse in Illinois instead of maybe the seventh best horse in Illinois but that's the way racing is when we're buying one or two horses and not 20 you know it's really uh e even more feast or famine than than normal so um we are probably gonna buy uh what are you trying to show me sweetie yes it's a little much <laughs> um we are probably going to buy a horse or two out of the Illini sale. And listen, if you guys, I, I had a lot of fun. I know Amy didn't get a chance to, that's something I want to do next year with my kids and my wife is go to the Springfield Fair. I know Amy's not a big fair person, but this is different. This is a really cool fair. And uh, I didn't get a chance to go to DeCoin, but they tell me that one's a real cool time too. So listen, anytime I can um, spend some time with my clients and certainly my family at a, at a, at a real cool racetrack with a ton of history that's something i'm going to love to do so Illini sale is this monday coming up on september the 5th starting at 11 a.m uh if you want to play along if you want to be a part of uh our little group it's a small group of people but our little group of people that are going to buy a horse or two out of the Illini sale then let me know and after that it'll be goshen ontario uh, wait no goshen ohio ontario lexington ontario Buckeye, Harrisburg, somewhere like that. So a lot going on. It all starts very, very soon. Of course, not to take away from the tons of racing and lots we have going on this weekend, but always got to be looking ahead. Anyway, uh, we are here in Orangeville. Ollie won his first game, got two RBIs, played fantastically. His team looked like they were crushing it out there. So you certainly did make a good play. You made a good play in center field too. That catch was nice. So... Uh, we're going into game two with Ollie's tournament. He has a couple of games tomorrow, it looks like. So it should be a lot of fun here in Orangeville. This is the reason that I couldn't make it to the fair tonight. So good luck to everybody as we go into uh, the Burton Fair. And obviously Kings County is coming up in a couple hours. And um, who else? is one other one tonight, too. I'm forgetting. Friday night. I know I'm forgetting it. Anyway. Uh, lots of racing, lots of stake racing later on in the weekend. But for now, a little bit of my work is done. Going to enjoy the rest of the evening with my family. Take care, everybody.